Hi, my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And today I'm going to share with you a very, 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 very important message that God gave me. Um, God's been sharing with me and teaching me on no condemnation. A lot of times pastors preach and they say, uh, you know, come to the altar, repent, 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 repent. You're going to miss the rapture. Um, and that's really not what God says. Um, the people that miss the rapture are the people that don't have Jesus in their heart. And, and God showed me this scripture this morning and showed me something new in it that really got me excited. Um, <clears throat> John 16, um, 7, it says, uh, Nevertheless, um, it is to my advantage that I go away. Jesus is talking, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he comes... Okay, these are the what I want to share with you. He will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Okay, he'll convict the world of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. And of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. Now, lots of people think that the Holy Spirit convicts us of sin, which he does not do. The Holy Spirit is not a nag. The blood of Jesus died to cover all our sins, so the Holy Spirit is not going to convict you of sin. If you ask Him to show you what's not pleasing to the God or what will draw you uh, closer that the devil can't use against you to get close to God, He will show you, but He will not convict you of sin. Okay, He will convict you of righteousness. The Holy Spirit is your helper and your teacher. He's going to teach you and remind you that you are righteous that you are in right standing with God through the blood of Jesus he's going to remind you of all the awesomeness that you are because of Jesus he's not going to point out your sin because the new covenant is um, that he will forget your sins and and your sins will not be brought up no more and the other thing and that's not even my main message um, the main message is <clears throat> um, he will convict the world of sin now he will convict the world not of sins there's no s there He'll only convict the world of one sin. And that sin right here, it says right here, because they do not believe in me. So the, there's only one reason people go to hell. And that's not because they're bad, because they do bad things, because they get saved and they do bad things. It's because they do not believe in Jesus. Okay, when you ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior and receive the free gift of life, then you become born again or uh, uh, you become your sins get washed away past, present, and future by the blood of Jesus. Now, the thing I want to point out to you is, it says he's going to convict the world of sin because they do not believe in me. This is what I want to point out. If the Holy Spirit convicts the world of one sin, and you see how horrible some of the people are, child molesters, mutilators, uh, uh, they just, uh, you know, mutinate, mut mutinate, or whatever that word is, uh, bodies, and cut them up in sacrifices, and and rape, and uh, steal, and kill, and destroy, and, and cheat, and all that, but he's only convicting the world of one sin, and that's because they don't believe Jesus. Now, when you accept Jesus in your heart, and you become his kid, and the blood of Jesus wipes you free of all sin, why in the world would you think that the Holy Spirit is going to convict you of all your sins with an S? If he convicts the world of one sin, that they don't believe in Jesus, we have a better covenant. We, they don't even have a covenant. We have a better covenant than the Old Testament and they don't even have a covenant that aren't saved, that are convicted of one sin. So what makes you think that the Holy Spirit is going to convict you of every commandment you broke? Okay, he's not. He's not. He's going to convict you of righteousness because right believing brings about right behavior. So the Holy Spirit says that grace establishes your heart, that wake to righteousness and sin not. So the more you realize that you are righteous, not by your works or lack of works, not by your confession of sins, but by the blood of Jesus and the grace and of God and faith in Jesus Christ, the more you realize that you are righteous because you awake to righteousness and sin not, the more you don't sin. 
you don't stop sinning because the pastor calls you to the altar and says you're going to miss the rapture because you've been bad, because you've done, because you slept with somebody last night, or because you swore this morning, or because you thought an evil thought. See, if you are going to live by the law, you have to live by all the law. And Jesus said in the law, if your right hand sins, you cut it off. How many of you have your right hand cut off because you've sinned? Or pluck out your eye, okay? The law is the law. You have to follow every single thing to the T in order to follow the law. But you're not supposed to follow the law. You're supposed to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And He forgives you for all your sins, past, present, and future. Because He made one sacrifice for one time for Ever, so that he would perfect us okay so it's in the blood of Jesus and when you know you're righteous when you know you are righteous then you will begin to act that way you see you forgive because you've been forgiven you love because you've been loved you don't forgive and love because it's a commandment you do it because oh, God forgave me God loves me it's out of that that you live your life. It's not out of following the commandments. The commandments is what Satan, the accuser, uses to accuse you that you have not followed them. And as far as forgiving, uh, confessing your sins, have you ever thought of every single sin you've ever confessed? You can't even remember them. Okay, you're forgiven by the blood of Jesus. Okay, so right behavior, right thinking brings about right behavior, right believing brings about right behavior. If you know you're the righteousness, you're going to live up to that. You're going to act like God because you're created in God's image and your sins are forgiven. So, so that's it. So the basic thing that I'm trying to tell you that is God convicts the world of one sin and that's that they don't believe in Jesus. And you are now believing in Jesus and you are the righteousness of God. He's not going to convict you of sin. He's going to show you that you're righteous. And then because you're so in love with him, you're going to make right choices and do the right things. And when you mess up, it's okay. The blood of Jesus covers you. Just remember, you are righteous. You don't have to choose that behavior. You can choose other behavior because you're created like your daddy, God, in his image. My name is Robin.